Now, both thorium and uranium-238 can become nuclear fuels by absorbing a neutron. Now, there's a few steps thorium goes through on this way. It first absorbs a neutron and becomes thorium-233, going from 232 to 233. And then that thorium-233 will decay over a period of about a half an hour into another element, protactinium-233. And protactinium-233 has a half-life, about 30 days. Still, in terms of reactors, that's pretty long. And it drives a lot of what I'm going to talk about with the chemical processing. But ultimately, it will decay to uranium-233, as long as it doesn't absorb a neutron, and, and it has a very quality fission. About 91% of the time, it's going to fission rather than absorb. And that makes U-233 the best fuel in the thermal spectrum. It outperforms everything else, and it's one of the reasons we really get a kick out of thorium.